a nice morning to be out. We have a little bit of rain behind us, but at least the sun's poking through some of those clouds. So I'm gonna go start out throwing some soft water like that and see what we can do. So good morning, everyone. Oh, that was cool. I was doing an intro and a dolphin, a bottlenose dolphin just popped up. You can see where it boiled right here. See if it'll come up again. It's beat feet away from me. <laughs> But uh, what is going on? Got a great sunrise this morning. Have some nasty rain coming. It's been a while since we've had some rain, so I'll take it. But, but like I was showing you on the way here, this is the Ozuri Mag Popper 130F and some 50 pound mono leader. And I have about 18 to 20 inches of it. Now the setup I'm throwing this on is a Pentort 5. 50 pound braid and a star handcrafted seven foot heavy action rod so i'm going to get this popper out there early morning try our luck while the dolphins work in this bait school and then maybe we can switch over to some flounder fishing here once the sun comes up a little more so let's see if we can get on top water bite i did change out the hooks on these to some inline single hooks it's just better on the fish and they're stronger than the trebles so i'm gonna make I'm making real long cast and just drifting with the wind. Every now and then I'll stop it, but I want to do consistent pops, try to draw in a big strike. Oh, there's bait schools all around me. So, oh, something already grabbed it. And I have a wind knot. That's cool. But I already have a fish this morning. That was quick. I oh, wonder what this is going to be. Hmm. That's cool. What are you? Oh, how'd I know? Big sail cat. Mobile Bay sail cat. That's a big one. <laughs> that's a big joker. How did I know that's what that was going to be? Okay, I'm not going to keep you. I did a sail catfish catch and cook. They are edible. They do taste good. But we're going to let this one go. Really cool fish though. First cast. Thanks for biting the hook. They're aggressive fish. I enjoy catching sail cast. There he goes. Big kaplump. Get that slime off there. All right, here we go. Hmm, okay. Okay, well, I'm having line malfunctions and wind knots. I'm gonna have to get this reel re-spooled. I spooled it at home and I don't know, usually I don't have an issue, but this morning I am. So I might bring another big rod. I'm gonna go switch to some light tackle and try to find some flounder. Ooh, there's a good bite. Got it. Oh yeah. What are you gonna be? Let's see. It's a flounder. Oh, that's a good one too. It's a real good one. At least it looks it in the water. Oh, flip, that's a keeper. Yes. On the voodoo shrimp. <laughs> Here we go. I've been having some line malfunctions on my spinning reel, so I almost lost my popper, had to go recover it. But I came over to one of my good spots before, this is like one of the last few times I can fish at my boat pretty much without bothering anybody. But just gotta, ah, calm down. But I just managed a really nice flounder on that voodoo shrimp. That thing is my go-to when nothing else seems to work, that little bitty, brown shrimp works really well and look at that now i have some dinner or lunch so pretty fish they only have to be 14 inches in the state of alabama our flounder population is making a rebound which is great i'm glad that we're able to keep them so five per person but uh he's going to go in my cooler and we'll see if there's any more sitting down there pretty fish i love him so i'm just out here throwing my old reliable this is a voodoo shrimp three 
and a quarter inch long. I have about two feet of 15 pound fluorocarbon leader coming to a double uni to my 30 pound braid. And on a pin squall, low profile bait casting reel, star siege just seven foot medium fast. So that's my tackle breakdown, really simple. I have 30 pound braid. If you use braid on bait casters, I like to go heavier because if you get a backlash, that thin braid's really difficult to get out and it can dig into itself. So that's why you see me use lighter leaders, even though I'm throwing 30 pound braid, because no matter what, I want a heavy line on this bait caster so I don't get bad tangles. And so it doesn't dig into itself. But that's just a tackle breakdown. Let's get another cast out, see if there's any more hanging around. That's a great way to feel cooler. These video shrimps are easy to work too. You don't have to do much. Just kind of hop it back to you. Uh, let it fall. Uh, since I'm looking for flounder, I want it to be on the bottom. And a lot of shrimp live near the bottom. So Look at the big flock of pelicans coming by. There you go. They're going to go find them some pogies to go eat. There, there it is. Come on. God, that time. I got you that time. And it's another flounder. Yes. Come on. Where are you going? Oh, that's a good one about the same size as last time can't tell me you didn't like that shrimp look at that voodoo way back there yes <laughs> what a great morning so far look at that no hesitation eating that i'm gonna have to get my d hookers out on that one but the, luckily that's a keeper because he is bleeding pretty bad but this is a southern flounder and they're getting ready for their fall migration out into the gulf they go offshore for the winter so that's the second flounder of the day they aren't doormats by any means but they are legal edible delicious fish so he's going to join the other one in our cooler Woo! let's get another cast out so i don't like to give away too many of my secrets <laughs> but if you miss a bite like that especially flounder always cast right back out again like immediately because he'll come back and eat that bait again a lot of times those fish will follow your bait or lure to the boat and you can catch them right below your boat kayak or pier but but i'm happy with that a little shrimp putting in some work well it's about the middle of the day fishing's kind of slowed down but it's too nice of a day to uh leave the water just yet and i hauled the boat all the way over here so I'm gonna stop at Tacky Jack's and get me some lunch. You can just pull up there in the boat or the car, but uh, obviously I'm in the boat, and get some lunch and then, so I can feel refreshed and get back to fishing. All right, I just left the restaurant, picked up my uh, firecracker shrimp wrap, some fries, and a drink. So I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this for a little bit and try to go find some more fish. So I will see you after I eat my lunch. Oh, there's one. That's a fish. Gotcha. Yes. I know that's a flounder. Yeah, I see it. Oh, man. I don't think it's going to be a keeper, though. <laughs> Boom. Look at that. What a healthy one. That's awesome. But they have to be 14, so you get to go. Sweet. I just moved over to some rocks and first cast with the voodoo once more. Landed a flounder. The lunch was okay, but I was starving, so when you're hungry, you can eat almost anything. And I knew I wanted to keep on fishing. Oh, there's one. Come on. Gotcha. Gotcha. I hope it's a keeper. Oh man, it looks relatively the same size as the other one. Yep. He's a little bit lighter though. Look how distinct those three dots on them are. They can camouflage so well. I know if you've never seen flounder before, which most of y'all have, but they do have both eyes on the same side of their head and a white 
bottom. And they lay down on the seafloor like this, come up and ambush their prey and go back down again. So let him get bigger. At least he has an aggressive appetite. Oh, there's a good hit. That's a flounder. Gotcha. Gotcha. That one feels a little better, but they all seem to until you see him in person. At least he's coming in. You always want to keep that line tight. That one is better though. Yeah, that one is better. Okay, I gotta get my net. That one is better. Oh, come here. Come here. Yeah, that one's much better. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Now I'm stuck on hooks. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all, I think that one will make the cut. What a nice fish. Over 20 inches long. Here in Alabama, if you get one of these, you're doing something right because this is so, it's so nice to see a nice healthy flounder like this. This, this is not going to go to waste. This is a nice, nice fish. Look at that. That's what we want right there. Just, I almost called it quits and, and I'm just working my jig slowly and managed a nice one. So this one's gonna join the other two we have in the cooler and I'm gonna get that bait back out. I'd like to see if there's any more hanging around, but what a great fish. There's one. Oh, whoops it. <laughs> That's the fun part about lures. Oh man, it's a dumb lizard fish. Pretty good size one though. All right, calm down. Look at the chartreuse on his gills. That's actually pretty cool. All right, there you go. It's gonna be my last cast before I head in. We got a storm coming and I don't feel like getting wet or wetter than I've already gotten today. And I just broke off on a really good fish. See, there's another one. Gotcha, gotcha. That's a flounder. Just the way it's fighting, I know that's what that is. They're fun to catch. There you are. Are you gonna be a keeper? Yeah, probably. If I can get you up, come on. Yeah, that's number four in the box. Perfect hook set too. I love the hooks on these lures. <laughs> All right. He liked that voodoo shrimp and it's gonna go in the box. And that's almost my limit, which I don't normally keep limits of fish. Every now and then I will, but flounder is so good and they're pretty abundant right now. So literally, as I said, I was about to go in because the rain's coming. I hooked into a flounder and landed it. So might as well get another cast out while I'm out here. If not, I'll see y'all back at the ramp. So I would say this was a pretty dang good day. I didn't get my fifth one, which I could keep trying if I wanted to, but I'm gonna get out of the rain and I'm really happy with what I have. Look at the size of this one. <laughs> that is awesome. But I'm gonna put these back in ice. I just wanted to get a picture real quick. And then uh, I'll see y'all back at the boat ramp. Alrighty y'all, the boat is loaded up, strapped down, and it's time to go home. See this storm clouds coming in. It's uh, about to be a little bit more than I want to be in. So I appreciate y'all for watching. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more, go hit that subscribe button down below. It was a great day of fishing. Fishing days aren't always like that. There's a lot of struggle days, but you have to appreciate a day like today. So I'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.